Hiya then folks, Tight Yorkshireman here, carrying on with our poor man's electric boat. You'll see, I'm inside at the minute, weather's not really good out there, chucking it down with rain, and I don't want to get wet. Ruins me air. <laughs> right, so this episode, what we're hoping is, that we're going to see this motor actually spinning. But, it isn't like television this. So I'm recording this before we've actually done the work out there. So we're going to see, come the end of the programme, there might be a spinning motor, there might be me in tears, chucking my scenic canal with depression. But, I'm hoping it's going to go a bit like this. I know the first bit, Simon showed me how to, uh, to wire it all in, wire the basic battery running, get them in. So you're going to see that, and then from there on, we really are winging it on this episode. Like I say, fingers crossed, by the end of it the motor will be spinning. Which is obviously a massive step forward to getting this boat heading up down that, that canal there. So, bear with us. We're going to have a look. You're going to see some slightly technical things that hopefully we can explain them technically enough for the people who are, are wanting all the technical information to get. But also, simple enough that them who've just got a passing interest and think it'd be quite good to see this boat moving are not going to get bamboozled with loads of things but you're going to see relays, contactors, control panels batteries being wired up in series all this kind of thing but fingers crossed like I say we're going to see that motor spinning shortly the first job Peter you know what I mean? Lock wash, yeah. That, right. So what that's going to do? You're going to go from positive yeah. to negative. Like that. Alright. Someone's going to tell me I'll trap. So that's going to go from positive to negative. So what I do? Red. Ah, it's put red on one end, black on another. So you can't go wrong then, can you? You know what I mean? Yeah. Just a bit of. We've put some tape over them anyway, eventually. Go to that. Yeah. But you're going to have to talk them up. You're going to need a torque wrench. Do you know what torque they need to be? 20 newton meters. 20. So that's what they have to be. Positive again, so you put red on there again, Pete. Yeah. Put the black on there again. Yeah. Be negative. Contact it, did you, Pete? Not one with it, then you see. That one goes back to that clip. Yeah. That'll have a contact. That must have that. But then, uh, if you put a motor meter, it's got sight, it should have 48 volts. Think my motor meter. Yeah. Dave has. We've got his panel and all. Come on, grab it, Dave. Try not to drop out on these feet. Now, crash it. Anyway, Pete. So that's basically how it wants to go. Yeah. I think you can do another one of them. Yeah. Do you want, if I do that other cage and then do they want to come down but if I leave them I'll off contact? I'll do them. I'll do them. You just make a cage. That's going to go there. Yeah. Something like, I don't know, however you want to do it. Uh, one, two, some P clips or something. I'll go screw fix tomorrow. I'll get, make, I'll get some different coloured tape and some, some clips for that. Yeah. Look. If you copy that, yeah, you can be doing that. On that side, you positive wire. You're going to have to do it slightly different. So it's um, batteries the other way? No. No, you're going to think I'm weird. But we'll still wire down there. 
How long is it? But it just come back down here. Yeah. Well, it'd be long enough, won't it? It's the same length as that. I mean, that's so it's long enough to go from the other side and across the ground. Yeah. 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 With my designer handle. We all wrench handle. Basically, that. That's going to go on there. Yeah. That's going to go on there. Yeah. Hopefully these contactors aren't joined in anyway. Because the ball sends up now. We're not running. We're not running. That's why they're contacting these. Because when you switch it on now, what you'll do, you'll put a switch on and it'll power them up and that'll let power through. Right, so that's going to be wired. That's like twelve. That's got a twelve volt feed. To, that's what you're about yeah. with a twelve volt feed. Yeah, yeah. So, what we're going to have to do now? Basically, that one's good. That one, like pinning up. Yeah, somehow. Feed clip up there, one up back of here, and then will that be long enough to reach? Yeah, out? because what we're going to have here now? Got another board on that side there. Yeah. Well, another board here. Yeah. Right. Then we're going to put two. Uh, fuse on yeah. things, yeah. So that's going to come round. That's going to be obviously put red tape on that. Yeah. Cross top somehow. Yeah. Well, if I know it's only coming round to here, I can pin it up here. Can't yeah, I? basically then, pin it up there. And then pin it to there. To there, to there. Yeah. And then I can sort. Yeah. And then what we do, we're going to have just one wire from that to your controller. Yeah. So it takes all. So that's going to go there. Then you want that one there to follow it exactly. <laughs> you have no faith in me, Simon, whatsoever. <laughs> Anybody who think you'd seen all the power crap I drive around. <laughs> uh, what I would do before you start messing though, is probably just take one of them links off. Right. Yeah, and then it's not even connected then. Just take one out. Yeah. So, so I'll do the same on that side, I'll wire them in, but I'll yeah. then just leave one off. Because that needs to come right down and across. So that, that needs to come, probably, maybe across here. Across bottom and up. And up. Yeah. Or, I don't know. Somehow we need to get it to there, but we need to make it... I'll see what I can do to get... Get like, would it go out back of that stanchion behind that back here and then across or something? Probably across there or something. Yeah, because then it can follow at the bottom of here, can't it? Yeah, we can get if some. It, if it comes up under here like with this so, one. So basically, I want them four wires, yeah. that, them two, them two, two from there. in here, somewhere yeah. at the same place. Yeah. So you can manage that. Yeah. Put my come up neat. Yeah. Well, so I'll go, I'll get some of them oh, peak clip things right. that hold them on. So we might even, is there one red table? Is there red table? Oh. Just one. That one? Yeah. I haven't quite decided how yet, but that's going to come from there. Yeah. Probably to that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Will that run across that back board? Yeah, we again? might get that across that back board. And then we've got some ends. But we need a cage. Yeah. But we're not going to put them in yet, that's just a. Just wire it up with them first. We'll make it run off of them first. I first eight, yeah. so two banks rather than... But they could just join in here and you could yeah. even put more, as long as they all go to that side, and not that end. Right then, so now we're kind of getting on to the next phase of the, uh, the project. Obviously the last couple of vlogs have shown how we've got all this fitted, the, the motor, the gearbox, the drivetrain and everything. Uh, we're fairly confident that's all sorted, at least for now anyway, so we're now moving on to trying to get some power to it. So, in effect this is what we've got, we've got banks of four batteries, we will actually um, have 16 batteries in total, but they will be set up in banks of four, because obviously each battery is 12 volts, and we're running a 48 volt motor. So running series, obviously that will give us the, the right power. As you can see we've got them running like I say in series which is running kind of positive to negative throughout the different ones I have just left that cable off just a little bit of safety there while we're still working on it we don't want to accidentally uh, short it out or anything so uh, so yeah so positive to negative all the way down running then the, the positive feed and the negative feed down to these contactors what we did check earlier was we got the multimeter out each battery was um, 
pulling about sort of 13 and a half volts, uh, which obviously then, like I say, running series meant we were getting about 54 volts down down to these contactors, which is uh, obviously brilliant for the 48 volt system. So these contactors will be uh, will be switched using a 12 volt feed that we need to uh, to feed in with these. So what that does is it basically means we can turn on and off each bank of batteries. So we can be potentially charging one while we're running off the other bank, etc. Um, so yeah, so once it's down to there and uh, gone through the 12 volt switch, the contactor, obviously the power then follows along through these cables, which we fastened uh, along the edge of the belt there. And they'll fasten positive and negative to this fuse, fuse carrier there. And then that'll feed from there across to the magic box of tricks. That's where all the magic happens. That's the control unit for it all. So obviously from that control unit, there'll then be various feeds coming out for things like the throttle and stuff like that. Um, and obviously the crucial feed over to the motor. So I think that's more or less kind of got the input, if you like, of the batteries, the power. That's going to get the power set up from the batteries across the control unit. We now need to get the wiring back from the control unit to the actual motor, etc. Obviously, that's the, the next job we're going to start on now. And as you'll see, my T-shirt's still clean, so I can't have been doing too much work today, can I? Peter's just pulled up outside the marina and told me he has a bargain in the back of the van. Come on, guys. Let's go see what this bargain is. Hello, love. I've got a bargain. Look what we've got here. This is the tight Yorkshireman. This is how we wing it. 24 boards for 60 quid. That'll do all inside at Narrowboat. All sidings and ceiling. That's a bargain. Anybody can see that's a bargain. Some insulation given to us for free. And somebody who were doing a caravan up, they got some bits spare. Free, my favourite price. Best bargain ever. And then a few logs. Come from my sister's where she's had a tree cut down. Can't beat a freebie, can we? I love freebies. So, this bargain, were it yep. half price? Less than half price? These were less than half price. Oh. Less than half so, price. So, them Timberlands you've said I can have. I've seen them black as well. Can I have those too? Let's not get carried away, love. Oh. No, shutting van now. Come on. Let's get back to the belt then. Enough talk about Timberlands and spending money and all that. It's fair doing my head in, making me get a headache thinking of spending money. You'll see we're here in the belt. We're kind of carrying on from uh, from where we'd left off on that video from uh, a couple of minutes ago. Um, what we've done is basically carried the wiring on. So we've now got, as you can see, we've got the wiring onto the contactors. That gives a 12 volt feed, so when we're ready to power the main system up, we uh, flick the switch and that allows the power to progress from this side through to this side and then obviously down these uh, down these wires that are all nicely uh, in the trunking along there and then they come up towards the control system where they come first of all they come through a, fuse, a set of fuses obviously safety first we don't want to be blowing ourselves or the belt up the belt more importantly than us really so then from the fuses it carries on round there, up to the important bit, the control panel. And as you will now see, we have various wires coming away from the control panel. A couple of switches, that's what we, uh, we turn it all on with. And the important bit there, the throttle. What we will do is we'll run through a bit more in detail on the vlog as we actually get it running. Um, all up and running as to what's uh, what's everything going on here with the relays and things like that sort of the, the technical stuff But as you can see we've got the wires there and we've got the cables coming back from the motor Ready to con uh, connect in there The unfortunate thing is we've not quite got just as far as I'd kind of anticipated 
we had sort of hope that by this stage we would actually be showing the motor spinning but as you can see there's a, a couple of cables that we've we've not quite managed to uh, to get done just as yet uh, a little bit of research still to, to just make sure we are getting those wired in right but we're certainly getting there and after all we are winging it it's not like we're following an instruction manual but I do think that for, for this episode of the vlog that brings us to the end of it um, we have really cracked on so massive thank you to Simon once again obviously done some great work I would say he's a little bit camera shy so he's trying to avoid the camera as much as he can uh, but we did manage to sneak a bit of him in earlier um, also a, a massive thanks to Trevor Simon's dad he's, uh, he's been at lending a hand and to Harley Simon's son who you saw knocking about in the boat earlier he, he came down and helped out in his own special way obviously as well we've got to thank the camera crew which is uh, Dawn say hello Dawn hello Dawn there we go and Louise who's done some of the recording and again she's done some of the editing which I think like I've mentioned in the past the editing is a fair old job so uh, it is taking some doing so thank you very much I will also say while we're here just to remind everyone we are only recording this on a camera phone we've not got loads of technical equipment and things like that we've got one camera phone and a, a basic editing suite on the computer we're not like some of these fancy vlogs where we've got four, five, six cameras, microphones all over and things. For one, I'm a tight Yorkshireman, I'm not spending money on that lot. And also, the main thing's this project, not all the camera work and, and the fancy editing. So yeah, I think that uh, that basically brings us to the end of it. So from me, the tight Yorkshireman, working on the poor man's electric boat, we're going to carry on winging it.